have our Navy Ball uh, coming up soon this month, October 18th, celebrating our birthday, uh, which is actually October 13th. This is a great time of, you know, talking about heritage and, you know, where we come from. And, you know, I was in a conversation earlier with uh, some folks about why we go to our heritage balls. And, uh, you know, my message to everyone out there is go to your services ball because it's not just about you and it's not just a formal ball and don't look at it as a, oh, I have to get dressed up in my dressing uniform, you know, and I don't have my medals set, you know, which you should <laughs> uh, out of requirement and out of pride. But get dressed and go to your service ball in your, you know, your uniform. That's what it is for, not civilian clothes. You know, we save our civilian dress up, you know, tux and, and uh, gowns for the holiday party yeah. during the holiday season. But your service ball is for your service uniform. And it's not about you. It's about those who have gone before you. And it's about those who can't be at the ball, whether they're uh, missing in action, prisoner of war, or who died during battle, or who died while serving in uniform to keep this service going. So uh, I ask everyone to look at it in that perspective that, you know, the ball isn't about an inconvenience for your day. Yeah. Your service ball is about celebrating who we are in that uniform that we wear when we defend our country and for those who can't be there. When we look at October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you know, breast cancer health, it reminds us to, you know, do self-exams and to get mammograms yeah. and, uh, you know, and talk about it. And let's, let's talk about breast cancer. Let's talk about our health and not shy away from the big C word. Uh, recently on, uh, you know, a morning news show, one of our very own, you know, our sailors, uh, Chief Jackie uh, Smith, she was able to uh, represent on the show. Who she currently is undergoing some treatment for breast cancer um, and sharing that with the world and with the Navy and her whole uh, process and her progress with her uh, treatments, with her shots, with her chemo, with her health and how she's maintaining throughout her hospital visits and so forth. The loss of her hair. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it's a very courageous move. And what she's done is she has said to the world and to us in the military, hey, this is not something that's going to hold you back. This is not something that keeps you down. And you don't go through it alone. You go through it with a family. Uh, and that family being not just your immediate family, but your service family. So, you know, for all of our other, you know, sailors and airmen and soldiers, Marines and Coast Guardmen out there, you know, regardless of your gender, whether it's prostate cancer or breast cancer, um, you need to look at your health regularly and not put it off and not say, well, tomorrow, uh, you know, this isn't gone with the wind. After all, yeah. tomorrow is another day um, is true, but not so true to, you know, act on something that, you know, makes the hair on the back of your neck go up. So fire prevention week next week, very important. Great for families to talk to their children about fire escape and stop, drop, and roll. And, oh, yeah. and uh, you know, let's remember those kinds of things uh, because it can be, you know, a very scary event, you know, when a fire occurs. And you could probably be, you know, so up to speed on your fire prevention awareness. And then when that fire occurs, if you're not, you know, ready for... Uh, you know, how to put it out or ready to help, how to help somebody get through that by doing some drills and doing some review. Uh, no matter how much you learned in boot camp, doesn't mean you're going to get through it. So keep drilling, keep talking about it. Uh, you're never too old to stop, drop, and roll. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.